your chariot and you moved on. This person is now at a crossroad here. Because whatever tactics they were trying to do on you, it just it's not working here and it's never gonna work here. You could have been a very loyal friend to this person and they took you for granted here and now you're being guided to move forward with your life. They're not getting none of your shit here. They did not put in on this success that you're doing here, the hard work that you have put in, they're not gonna be able to get none of that, okay? At the end of the day here. It's protected here. Wow, Spirit. What else is going on here with this Empress energy here? Exactly, what is this? Okay, we got the five of moons in this deck. The moons, I believe this is the cups here, or the pentacles here, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go here, okay? No, the stars is the pentacles, so yeah, this is the cups here. We got the five of cups is in reverse here. I feel like you're not in any type of remorse when it comes to the situation here. I feel like it's a lot of gossip going on with the page of swords here in reverse about this situation or about this person here. Yeah, they're going through a tower here for sure. Wow. Tell me about this justice here. I feel like the truth ended up coming out about this person. Yeah, look at this. The page of wands is in reverse here. Good God Almighty. This person here, good God, they played a lot of uh, mind games here. This person had bad intentions from the get go here. And the truth came out. I feel like you could have started paying attention to the synchronicities or how you was feeling. Like your body would like give you signals. Maybe you were feeling a certain type of way before this person came into your energy. And then when they were in your energy, you could tell like the difference or something like that is going on here. Wow. What else is happening here? Yes, we got temperance here. Your angels came through to balance this thing out here. Yeah, because this person was doing a lot of injustice in your life here with the justice in reverse here. They did not speak their truth here. They were telling a lot of lies and they had bad intentions for you. This person was easily tricked here. It's like they had a lack of seriousness. That's why I say this person probably didn't even believe in God, beloved. Because they think this shit is a game here. Wow. Yeah. Let's get a new whip out. Leave that truck over there. Watch out, Sam. Watch out, Sam. Yeah. Watch out, Sam. Hey. Yeah, you know we out here, nigga. Stop, baby. Yeah. My little man Ray, what's up Ray? Yeah, that's old man Ray. Ray always going to get his coffee. Ray mind his business, that's why I fool with Ray. <laughs> that nigga look hot. I want to get up out of here, look at this wild nigga. Should steal his ass, but I'm gonna let him chill. He texting his little jump or something. What's up, pal? My little man, pal. Yeah, it's my block, man. Everybody know me out there, this jump. We post up right here on this little whip. Hey, little bras be working out and shit. What's up? Oh, Mo, you walk up on like that, Slim? Yeah. You threw me off real quick, Slim. You threw me, you threw me off, Slim. Yeah, you throwing me off, Mo. Kid. Hey. Man, man, I gotta get from around this jump. Er, that's why I don't come outside. Every time I come outside, somebody throw me off here. Hey, they be tripping, Slim. Yeah, I got, yeah, I'm about to go out the country real quick. You know what I'm saying? Go post up about that jump. Hey, I almost beat y'all like in the way. For no reason, though. Like, you be trying cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be out this jump. Nah, I, I was just like in a way, no, no bull. Nah, he walked up on me, Slim. He walked up on me. Yeah, he was lunching. He was lunching, not me. Yeah, hey, for real. I'm gonna go put this package together real quick, man. Go get some money, man. Diamonds out here, horse man. Hold on, Baka. Gotta go get this little job real quick for my PO. She keep asking, talking about, you always fresh, but you don't work nowhere. Like, go ahead, Slim. What you trying to say, bro? Go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Uh, little baby mama jump bought me this. Yay. 
Yes, I be working. I be working in a different way. You hear me? Yeah. No, 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 no. I did not say I was prostituting. I said I be working. I just be working in a different way. So anywho, yeah, man. Go sign up for this little jump real quick. This little temp agency jump. Little labor ready jump. Yeah, you know the Lord jumps to put on the paperwork, but you still jive like, yeah, yeah. So I'm about to go ahead and grab that jump real quick. Okay, labor ready jive like step they stuff up. They jive like got some little jumps on here. See, my PO ain't gonna go for that fisherman jump. She's gonna be like, fisherman. Yeah, you ain't no fisherman. So, yeah, I ain't even about to play with that jump. Let me see if I can catch me. Oh, Baka. That's what I do. Oh. Get my CDLs jumped and I'll be gone. But then she just like ain't about to go for that either. She gonna be like all local. You know what I'm saying? I get the CDLs jump. I'm trying to be gone. Like I'm trying to hit the road. You hear me like, uh, you hear me? Send the money back. Yeah. And I'm out of there. You hear me? And you know I could do me. Hey. Do I want to do the fueler jump? Because I hate to be out there on the highway. Some bama throw a cigarette. I don't know how them trucks work, so I ain't trying to really fool with that jump. Let me see the lumberjack jump. Hmm. I'm just going to fool with the little Uber taxi jump. That way. You know what I'm saying? I can still. You know what I'm saying? Let me step out this jump. Man. Hey. P.O. time out. Yeah. Stay away from drugs. No more drugs. It's like shout out. Be cool. <laughs> Be cool. You hear me? Time out. How you get up here today? Like, youngin. I told you. I catch that bus. She, her nose there. Time out. No. I seen you hop in the BMW. Who called that? I said, oh. That was that little Joan. You know what I'm saying? Little Joan I was telling you about. Like, uh, I'll tell you, your name come across my desk, I'm gonna have to do my job. Oh, you know. I ain't gonna lie. She jive like I, right, but I ain't trying to hit my PO because if she getting her feelings and then just vibe, they be like, that's crazy. Like, half me, like, all right, go ahead, get her out of the way because clearly she on your line. But then the other half, like, no, she's gonna get too locked in and. If you ain't thinking about like marrying this chick, she will be a headache to you. You know what I'm saying? Like women get like crazy. Like they get crazy, crazy. Like dudes, dudes be bluffing. Like I ain't gonna say all dudes be bluffing because there's some dudes. <laughs> there's some dudes in prison right now that want bluffing. So I ain't gonna say all dudes be bluffing, and I ain't gonna say all women be bluffing. Cause women don't be bluffing. Why they don't be bluffing? Everything they do come from a heart space. Yeah. See, when you understand that part, right, then you understand the importance of how you treat a woman. You dig? So, my thing is, I always be straightforward, you know what I'm saying, and tell it like it is. Now, the truth ain't always likable, lovable, you know what I'm saying, agreeable, acceptable, understandable. We all have different communication. Sometimes I would like to think that I communicate to break it down to the simplest form, but then sometimes it's maybe too compact for even the simp the simplest to understand. I don't know. But however the case may be, right, I try to be kind of as direct as possible. At the same time, I still have my own heart space, so I try not to break a heart by being truthful and honest until, like, you just put me in that, that place where I can't no longer just, like, sit here. And, and spare your feelings because you're being disrespectful. Now you, now you don't care. Now you talking reckless. So now I'm like, okay, why is I'm trying to be nice? I just might well just tell you like it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how, that's how like my good, my good European friends talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love, I love, I love the way they disrespect people. And and the ones that really disrespect people in the most polite way is them British motherfuckers. They is the most the most polite, disrespectful motherfuckers you could ever run into. Like, <laughs> they can say, fuck off, eh? <laughs> fuck off, eh? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost. What are you saying? Like, is you asking me or is you telling me? It's like, no bullshit. Like, they asking to fuck you up. So, 
you gotta be careful with that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, like, you know what I'm saying, got into the whole little thing about farms, like, yeah. Mm hmm. And everything foreign ain't, ain't really all that luxury. You dig what I'm talking about? Like, you could get tricked out your, your space mess with the farms. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being honest. And they know I am. They know I'm telling the truth. That's why when you go to, when you go out of town, they give you that little, little rundown real quick. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a quick play. You know what I'm saying? When you come into a prison, right? They always give you the rules, right? When you come into any new facility, they give you the rules and regulations. The same way when you travel to a new country. When you get off that plane, they give you the rules and regulations. Look here. This is what we set up for to be considered a tour area. If you go outside of this area, you are on your own. So therefore, messing with foreigners, you're stepping outside your boundaries. So it's, you need to learn people's cultures before you interrupt them. Cause it could get real, real crazy, real, real serious, real, real fast. You know, it's like you will assume because we all kind of favor each other, but look alike. You know what I'm saying? And then we got into this perception like, hey, my brother, because we share the same complexion. No, you know what I'm saying? Your brother is not based on your complexion, nor is it really based on your blood flow. It's your identity or your perspective of what you identify, your views, your morals, your principles, how you see things. You know. It goes a little deeper than just how, you know what I'm saying, a person may look. You'd be surprised how many people got in so much trouble by just judging a book by its cover. Man, you know how many sexy diseases is walking around out here right now? Do you know how many diseases are filthy rich right now? Do you know how many diseases have the most beautiful faces that God ever created or Jenny because now I'm feeling like I'm in the Adam and the Eve situation and Eve is out here with that apple bottom again I mean apple or was it apple bottom because now when I look at life I just gotta think at it in every aspect like I can't leave no stone unturned I gotta really read between the lines and understand where they were coming from think about it she got them apple bottom jeans. You dig what I'm talking about? What is a man weakness? Jiminy Cricket, you on or something. Holy shucks, Batman. Like, that's the feeling I get when I think about that. I'm like, man, it wasn't a freaking fruit that got Adam caught up. It, Eve had a fat man. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy the whole time. See, God is so vicious, right? And this way, I, I always have to go back to God. And then I'm going to break it down so you can understand to all you rappers, right? To all you rappers, like real conscious rappers, like shout out to the J. Cole. Shout out to the Common. Shout out to the Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? You real conscious rapper, right? If we all are made in our likeness of God, then who you think is the best metaphorical lyricist in the world? Like, come on, man. Read between the lines. Hey. I get the joy when I think about the goodness of Jesus. You hear me? So, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all is, right? Man, you got to really dig in. You got to go look within. Like, you can't understand who you serve, what you serve, until you look within. How do I feel? How do I see the world? What's my morals and principles? Is I'm a hater? Is I'm a lover? You know what I'm saying? Do I want to step in the name of love or do I want to step on shit? Like, let's be honest here. You dig? Let's be honest. Uh, where y'all? So, let's be honest, man. What's your move? What's your move? What's your vibe? You know what I'm saying? What's your lifestyle? What's your interest? You know what I'm saying? When I talk to a person, first and foremost, right, this is part of my phone game. You know what I'm saying? A little free game to my young fellas that's listening right now, right? A little free game. When I, when I speak to a woman, right? You know you get the name and all that type of stuff, right? But I'm put you on into a little free game. Always ask her, you know what I'm saying, her favorite color. Like, what you talking about, OG? See, what I'm talking about is, right, 
everybody has a favorite color, right? But I don't think everybody understand why they have a favorite color. See? But I'm going to take you a step further, right? I'm going to take you back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You remember the move rings, right? So now, I say move rings to bring you back to understand why you have a favorite color. Your favorite color represents your personality. So when you tell a person what your favorite color is, a, a person like me could break down your whole style, your personality, and tell you all about yourself in a split second and a hot minute. You know what I'm saying? You dig what I'm talking about? I'm not a whore, but I get women because I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So anywho, yeah, so I always ask a woman what's her favorite color. You dig what I'm saying? And truly you got to be cautious of this, right? Because you have women out here that will be a little cautious too and try to deceive you, right? So I have another thing that I like to do or, you know what I'm saying, a little a little thing that I, I, I'm on is like, it's not what a person says, what they don't say. You know what I'm saying? Read between the lines once again. So, boom. Why I say that? Okay. She could say that my favorite color is yellow. Right? Boom. She say her favorite color is yellow. Right? You know what I'm saying? But she's always dressed in black. Hmm. And then the person say, you don't always have to dress in your favorite color. Well... I just find it hard to believe, you know what I'm saying, if that is your favorite color, how you don't identify with your favorite color. My favorite color is blue. I find, I, I think anything I see in blue look good. Anything in blue look good to me. So yeah, I, I possess a lot of blue stuff. You dig what I'm saying? But I also have red stuff, right? So even though that my mood is cool, calm, and collective, right? Red is a hazard, a warning, and a beware sign, you dig? So that's probably why I identify with red also because, hey, be careful with me. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, that's what Carly B said, so I just say, be careful with me. You know what I'm saying? So, I also have a warning sign, you know what I'm saying? And I, I should I should have yellow somewhere around. Oh, I do like yellow because you need to proceed with caution. You dig what I'm saying? You got to proceed with caution. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I take all that into consideration, right? When perceiving, you know what I'm saying? Because a person could tell you whoever the fuck they want to tell you that they are, you know what I'm saying? Because in their mind, they could make themselves believe that, oh, I'm a nice person and I love to see people win. But they actions say different, you dig? Because I could see that same person will sit on Instagram for hours, strolling, strolling, strolling. But not one time will I see their finger lift up and hit that heart button. Why? Because they don't want to see everybody win. They're not happy for everybody. And they is a lie. They really on the dark side. They evil. They depressed. They conniving. I mean, this shit get deep. deep so fucking deep, you'll fuck around and drown. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sneaky. You hear me? Man, shout out to uh my everybody, man. Hey, look. Spread more love, man. Like, I'm talking about where we at in life right now. I think, I think everybody, I'm not even going to say I think. I know that everybody need to take this time to really evaluate yourself. Don't worry about your neighbor. Because here's, here's a little, here's a little, here's a little secret. Here's a little secret. Everybody get judged for their own actions. Even if. You go down for a RICO law, you still get independently charged for your action. So, when it's all said and done and God come in and, 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 and perceive and, and, and do his, his due diligence, you know, because a lot of people like to say due diligence. And like, like, like my grandmother told me at a young age, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have, you have... Uh, influence you have an empower but you know what I'm saying be careful how you use it because if you use it wrong you know what I'm saying God will punish you you know what I'm saying so you don't you don't want God mad at you you know what I'm saying for misusing and, and, and mistreating and misguiding his people you know what I'm saying so that's something that always stayed on my mind because I think like I, I don't fear no man but it's kind of hard to Get busy with somebody that that, that that you can't see. You know what I'm saying? That you can't put your hands on. That you can't wrap your hands on. That's the alpha and the omega, the power, the beginning and the end, the one that created the whole world. Like how how can you be a human being thinking that you could fight the man that created the whole world? That's like trying to fight the sky. That's like literally trying to fight the sky. I never seen it done. Not never. Not never. Not never. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come. I'm gonna be straightforward. I'm gonna be straightforward, right? So all you de devil worshippers, I wanna I wanna declare right now that. The devil is a lie and you're a lie. Why do I say that? Because how can the devil has power when he was kicked out of somewhere? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, bouncers, do your job. You dig what I'm saying? Like, if you're really that guy, can't nobody tell you to leave. 
No one ever said Jesus got ran out of nowhere. No one ever said Jesus got put out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But they did say he died on the cross. But then what? He rose again. You know what I'm saying? He came back. He he, he rose again. You feel what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people be playing out here with the superpowers and being anointing and calling. And that ain't nothing you really want to play with. You know what I'm saying? Because if you really was, you'll be a lot more cautious with your statements. You know what I'm saying? You'll understand how powerful your tongue is. And, and you'll be careful who you put your words on and who names you bring up in conversations. That's how you really find out where a person anointing is. Be a consciously aware of your surroundings at all times. And I don't just mean for physical threats. But you got to be aware of spiritual threats as well. You are. Excuse me. The company that you keep. What you mean, Wink? You the company that you keep. Birds of a feather flock together. You dig what I'm talking about? But, see, I get a con. I have a conflict of interest with that statement, right? Kind of seen broke niggas hang with rich niggas, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't getting money. I done seen ugly chicks hang with bad chicks, and that ain't funny. So, what I'm saying is, like, I feel that, but I don't feel that because to each his own to a certain degree. But I feel like that statement is for weak-minded individuals. You are the company that you keep. So, if you know that you're not a strong mind to make your own decisions and, you know what I'm saying, you need to be around some positive, strong minds, point blank period. Because I don't look down on you for being weak-minded. I don't look down on you for being a follower. But I do look at you a certain way for making poor choices on who you choose to follow. I, it's over like a billion some people, trillion some people, whatever, in the world, right? And out of all the people in the world you can choose to follow, you pick the lowest possible being ever. That's, that's when you need to say, you know what? Enough is enough. And... It's time to make some change Because if I agree with this Then something must not be Officially agreeable with me or something It don't fit Cause that's how it's supposed to be Your life shouldn't be complicated It's well, It should make sense You should be comfortable Everything should be joyful To an extent Like think about it Remember when, back in the day when we was kids We wasn't worried about all this nonsense Then we grow up We ain't know when to separate certain Little shit. What I mean, we not in high school no more. All that kicking the bed, that's for kids. We grown, we adults. We supposed to be raising kids, not acting like them. You know what I mean? Damn sure not fucking them, but that's a whole nother thing. This world is crazy, man. But I just pray for these insane things because it's really a mental health thing, and I will not stop saying the same damn thing. No, I do not think I'm better than anyone. By far, trust me, believe, not according to the life that I just lived. Nah, not at all. I wouldn't believe. What you mean? I mean, I go through trials and tribulations too, but I try to understand my situation so I don't repeat these things over and over again. Got a vicious, a vicious way of picking up on energy and I understand every smiling face ain't a friend. You know, so it take me back to, back to when we was young, you know what I'm saying, it's how ironic, you know what I'm saying, like, music is just so big to me because they was able to communicate when I couldn't say nothing, you know what I'm saying, so like around the time when I had a despised situation that kind of crushed my, my, my inner guy, you dig, it was a song that came out and said, mommy, mommy, please don't leave because Chester gonna put his hands on me. And if you do, then I can't sleep. Damn, that's crazy. I still remember that song like it just came out yesterday. So I, 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 really, I really, you know what I'm saying? I rarely ever hear a man talk about being molested because people will find that hard to believe, I guess. Or, or you weak. You talking about that. How you let somebody take advantage of you? You know what I'm saying? Well, the shit, of course, happened when a nigga was a kid. 100%, you know what I'm saying? Because damn sure wasn't no nigga being older playing them type of games with me at all. But, yeah, you know, you know how shit being is always come from someone close and they disguise it. It be disguised in different ways. So when I heard women talk about their situations and I understood where they was coming from, you know what I'm saying? Got baited in. Bama's acting like it's games and stuff like this and then it's shit gets strange, you know? 
You gotta protect. You gotta protect your people, man. They play on your weakness. Woman played on my son's weakness. She know, you know what I'm saying, that he's getting older and try to put little lines in his ear to make him, you know what I'm saying, turn against me. I ain't know she was playing him against me as long as she did. But long story short, she was a child molester and she just wanted to have sex with this kid. She wanted to be able to manipulate him and control his movements, something that she wanted to do with me, but she knows that had never been. So she said, I couldn't get him, I'm gonna get the next to Kim. It's sad. It's very sad, like, how people would just go so hard until they mentally is unrecognizable. Like, I don't tell that story to beat anyone down, it's more so because a lot of us go through similar situations and don't talk about it, overlook it, try to forget about it, but carry that burden so many years that it turned into other little things that dig it in like your worst fears. Like, I know a woman that didn't smoke jacks, barely even drink, now smoking crap and meth. Like, that's kind of strange. Had a federal government job. Now I'm only making a little bit of change off of fucking and giving brain. Mental health is real. I mean, it could really, it could really make you go to range. I ain't nobody to judge. I've been up on the mental health unit for what? Three times? Before I finally changed? Yeah. I've been up there, man. I done seen it. Seen bombers get hit with them shots. First time I seen it, I'm like, damn, that can't be legal. That can't be right. But I had a zap out moment one time in the hospital. Punched a hole into the wall. They had to hit me with two of them motherfuckers. And I was like, shit. I don't feel that bad for the patient no more because I know I slept good off of mine. <laughs> so it's really not that bad off. I don't know. You hear me? I had some good sleep off my little shots, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. I know when I went on the mental health unit, when I when I finally got the help that I needed, I felt like, I felt like Harriet Tubman, like, to an extent, like, I could relate to what Harriet Tubman was feeling when she realized that, oh, I can escape? I can escape this? Like, you telling me all I gotta do is just say fuck this shit and get up and get up out of here? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Bet. She escaped the matrix. The other motherfucker was so mentally, mentally controlled, they were stuck in place. They couldn't see how in the world could I possibly walk off this plantation like, Master, Master won't want that. Like, Master, I get in a whole heap of trouble. Like, not hurry and tell me. She said, if it's a will, it's a way, I'm going to find it out. You heard me. I'm going to test the waters. And she fought for what she believed in. She stood on something. And she went after it. And she made history. And I felt that because I'm like, dang. All this time, I'm sitting here worried about this. How do this look? And how do that look? And I don't want to be labeled as this. And I don't want to be looked at this way but what is it doing for you holding it in like what success is you getting from that what success is you getting from it like whatever already happened you have to face it you know what I'm saying and that's always been my thing period I, I can stand on whatever the hell I can do cause I'm like if I did it you know what I'm saying the fuck I look like lying about it like yeah I did it okay and what all you can do is either go to fuck about your business, make your statements, like it or dislike it, point blank, period. But your opinion don't make me who I am. You're not gonna put your hands on me because then we're gonna have a battle. It's not gonna, I'm not no, no motherfucking lay down person that you're just gonna fucking touch me and I'm not no bitch. I'm not no bitch by far. So after we go through all that, then what? So I don't care what nobody have to say. I don't care about people's opinion. You know what I'm saying? What I do in my life is for me. You know what I'm saying? My 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 satisfaction. You know what I'm saying? 
fuck people's opinion because people will change on you each and every fucking day in a split second whenever the fuck they feel like it. Don't nobody owe you shit. When you die, you dying by yourself. I never seen a casket bunk bed. You hear me? No bullshit or a double wide jump. You know what I'm saying? When you go, you going by yourself. And even if somebody go the same time you die, y'all still going in separate jumps because y'all might not be going to the same destination. Who knows? You know, but... Yeah, I'm just I'm just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem with the world. Don't nobody want to keep it real no more. That's why I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. I fooled it with Trump. Why I like the Trump? Because I ain't have to guess where Trump was at. I already knew where he was at. It wasn't no cut call with him. He was a real one. Straight up and down, Trump was a real one. Trump said, let's make America great again. You hear me? In other words, man, let's... Yeah, you hear me? So, bam, I'm already hip to what the fuck he's trying to do. So I need to know, I know how where to put them, you know what I'm saying? Not in my backseat. That's where niggas be getting fucked up. They be trying to look at everybody the same way. Like, once you reveal to me that you're a snake, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Once I know you're a rat, I'm cool with that. I know how to treat a fucking rat. <laughs> don't feed him cheese. That's for damn sure, you hear me? If he's a rat, he don't be around stuff that I feel like rats don't need to be around. Point bang fruit. Yeah. I ain't got to go on a motherfucking broadcast committee why the fuck do i want to go and tell the world he's a fucking rat he's a rat so now i got another problem because he's a fucking rat he don't care he's a rat he's gonna tell he's gonna tell now he's gonna put people that i don't want in my business on me like make it make sense you know what i'm saying like i, I seen goofy ass niggas playing on the internet and they say well this nigga hot this nigga hot like duh like the nigga platform biggest shit he say what the fuck he want to say fuck with him if you want it you're gonna get you're gonna get them peoples on your line Point blank period. A lot of goofy dudes do a lot of goofy things, man. And I see that common sense ain't really common. And it's understanding. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool, fine, Danny. You dig what I'm saying? But you're going to learn. You will learn. Somewhere in life, you're going to learn. Even the good way, the hard way. You know what I'm saying? But you will learn. You will learn. And, um... I remember Goofy asked me one time, like, why you on there listening to me? What? Nigga, you don't even listen to you. You don't even listen to your 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 your, your good side to tell you don't do some of the dumb shit you do. So what the fuck I look like listening to you? Like, please have several seats. Thank you. Goodbye. You know what I'm saying? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Yeah. Like, stop playing so much. No, like, seriously. Yeah. Bams be throwing me on sometimes, like, youngin'. Like, live life like shorty. Like, really live life. Like, when I started, like, living life, like, I ain't talking about blowing money. Like, that shit's stressful. Like, what the fuck? Like, that shit is make-believe. Like, seriously. Like, what do... Really think about it. Think about all the things you bought, right? What do it really do for you? Like, at this current moment, while you're feeling whatever mood you're doing, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel right now? All that money you, you spent, like, what did it really do for you? Them trips you, you you went on, right? You went out of the country. You spent a lot of money. You know what I'm You got fucked up. You got memories, right? But at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Look, this is, this is crazy and ironic, right? My father was not heavy in my life, but God always sent the bam around when he had something like he needed to drop a jewel, like. He, don't, he came around when he had something to bring, I guess. You know what I'm saying? He didn't bring money or presents, but he dropped Jews that, that always stuck with me. And, um, one of, one of the, one of the jumps, you know what I'm saying, was like, uh, the Bama said, man, we was cracking jokes about the way he was dressing. He was like, yeah, but, you know what I'm saying, I have a house, I have a car, you know what I'm saying, I got, I got, TVs, computers, cameras, you know what I'm saying, blase, blase, right, and then it was like, it makes sense, like, because you go in their person's house and shit, they shit laid the fuck out and shit, and then I started paying attention to my surroundings, like, I noticed how the Richard Jay-Z got the broker, he started to look, you hear me, it's, so I knew that his money was no longer going into fashion, we already know he's rich, he don't have to show that he's rich, he, we, he don't have to show his wealth, we know he's wealthy, now he need to spend more his money into more investment, because it's more about how to make more money. Your money have to make money. Look, it's easy to get money. It's easy to get product. You know what I'm saying? But can you keep it? Can you keep it? So many broke people mind frames like, oh, I could get a Benz. Anybody could get a Benz, but the maintenance on it. Okay, where well, you're not, you can't get a Benz then. Period. You can't afford a Benz. Why you can't afford a Benz? Because if clearly... That's more money going out than coming in if you worried about the maintenance of your car. 
if you're worried about anything in life, you got you got more money going out of your home than you have coming in. So you need to reevaluate some things. So now when I see you having living your best life, I'm like, you're lying because your priorities not in order. So you can't be living that great of a life. You, you, you're renting a life right now. You, you're using a rental. Your life is a rental. Because I done seen people take their rent money. Take their rent money and... Go and have a, a bomb diggity time out of town. They looked this sweet. I ain't gonna lie, they looked this sweet. They looked this sweet in them lines when they were spending their money. They they looked this sweet at their function with their kids because every day they had a new little outfit on with the matching shoes. But, whew, when they got back home, the priorities. The priorities was crazy. Because when you see that notice get put on the door, Saying you gotta evacuate the premises within a certain amount of days or hair or pay pay this back up rent. You like, well damn. The way you was just standing, I thought you was rich. I thought all this was taken care of. I mean, you couldn't have been on a trip if you wasn't, you know what I'm saying, financially secure. Hmm. Shit, you ain't gonna see me, you know what I'm saying, taking a lot of trips before you see me buy all the things that I wanna be equipped with that's gonna make me more money, you know what I'm saying? To live with. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's really about, so I decided to take my funds and invest in more shit. They trying to figure out where my money go, where my money is. My money making more money. That's how you stay in biz. And then when you go through rough times, you know, I paid attention to when the government used to shut down, and I remember the struggles that he used to call some of his employees, so I always knew that at any given moment, especially in the line of work that I was in, I could... Go through a tough moment, no work coming through, I needed a backup plan. And God will always see me through. So, always, always, man, count your blessings. I think of for everything, even the wrong ones, too. Like, I smoke gas. If my weed man put a little extra in the bag, man, I think of for that, too. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be honest. That's what I'm supposed to do. Even in my flaws, God still knows the real in you. You hear me? Because you can't hide nothing from him, so ain't no need to be faking with it. He see everything. Now, you might get over human, but you ain't getting over the spirit with it. That's just something you got to deal with. Just conscious, man. I'm just talking. Something we got to live with. Everybody got a pain these days. I just thought I'd get my little quick spill on this shit.